I've always been actually fairly low tech in the classroom. Um, uh, I don't ha work with a massive PowerPoint. Uh, I need a whiteboard. I need students talking and I need to get them talking. Uh, I think it's easier to get them talking when they're in front of you than when they're on Zoom uh, and they enjoy that. But by and large, it's not that I've been missing out on things except for one thing that happened when we all suddenly went online, which is this is a course called Shakespeare on the Big Screen. And suddenly the whole point of the class, which is we watch a movie together up on the big screen in the way that the movie was intended to be seen, went away when they had to watch a movie on their laptops or their phones or whatever else they, they were using. Um, but thankfully, there were only a couple of those and we got out the other side. So if we can keep going in this fashion, I'll get to the end of the semester absolutely overjoyed. Um, I mean, I have to say, I, I came at the beginning of the semester with a sense of foreboding. We'll be lucky if we get to September. And when we went online, I thought, yeah, that you see, I was right all along. And then we solved it and we're back in person. And that delight of being in a room with the students all thinking together and watching together, we're doing that in the way that I really enjoy. I teach nine private lessons to the master's and doctoral Oregon students, uh, many of them in here, some of them in the Basilica, and we're lucky to have this big space. So I spend some time listening downstairs. Uh, I'm often more or less right where you're standing, so uh, that's probably about eight feet away. I come with a copy of the music, so if I don't own the piece, the student scans and sends me the piece that they're gonna play so that I don't have to be hovering over their shoulder and reading, which I would normally do. I mean, even in, under normal circumstances, I would also move around a lot, but there would be those times when I would be very close to the student, so which we don't want to do right now. I try to demonstrate a little bit less than I normally would. And uh, when there are times where it's just easier to show a student something, we've established a protocol that they would get off the bench and they would move about eight feet in that direction. And then I would get on the bench and show them very quickly and then reverse positions again. And I've asked the students to be very open about what their comfort level was. So if, if a student really didn't want me playing the keys in the same hour as them, then, you know, we'd find another way to uh, do what we need to do. So I think the students, I have to say that I've been really, really impressed by the students um, in, in the way that they've behaved. I mean, I think back to when I was 18 to 22 years old and I think it would have been very, very difficult to not be able to go out and not be able to do things the way they did. I mean, I grew up in Dublin. I mean, I spent every weekend in the pubs, you know, and, and doing that and, and not being able to do that. I mean, that was a, a major form of relaxation for me. And, and you, can, you can feel that with the students. There's a tension there. There's a stress level that isn't normally there. Um, but overall, other than that first surge that we got right at the beginning of the semester, I have to say they've, they've done a phenomenal job. And I'm, I'm really, really proud to be a professor here because I think we have outstanding and responsible students. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that it's becoming as applying for internships for this next upcoming summer. It's a major thing that companies have already said, yes, we are dedicated to being back in person, whatever that looks like, especially for our interns. And some have said, we're not planning on being in full capacity until, you know, maybe 2022. And just recognizing that we might be online um, in some virtual format for those uh, you know, internships. So that's definitely something looking towards. This isn't going to be a quick fix or a quick solution in the next few months. It's really going to affect the workplace for the next maybe five to 10 years, depending on what happens with future pandemics. I don't know. The first one that comes to mind is humbling, I think, um, or yeah, yeah, that's it. I think just because we, you're a lot more uh, aware of the opportunities you have and how like awesome it is to be here. Um, and uh, 
you know, even the fact that we get to be here now is just such a blessing. So it's like, you know, it was very, very humbling in, in realizing that uh, we have got a lot of things that we get to do um, and being thankful for that. So 